celebrate God with understanding. Celebrate God with understanding. Celebrate God with understanding. From January, February, March, April, May, June, July. This is the eight months. He has been faithful to you. He has been faithful to you. You are good and your mercy forever. You are good and your mercy forever. Forever, Lord, you are faithful to us, Lord Jesus. Oh, you are good and your best forever. Ti shoho la e yoru kore He has done great things He has done great things Oh ti shoho la o He has done great things Para buska tala bali getela buska talia Upon fire of joy international over good women, over men of faith, over our children and our yaya. Oh, he has done marvelous things. Oh, he has done great things over in your life. Oh, mighty God, he has done great things. So we are saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying, thank you, Father. Baba. Thank you, my Lord. Lord, we honor your name here from January to this eighth month. Lord, we are glad in our spirit, our Lord, to see Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. I know you. Name upon this altar. Glory, precious. I know. I want the family to sing that song for His power. I want the family to sing that song. I want the family to sing that song with all the power in them. It is the power and the mercy of God that hold that family. You are where you are today by the mercy of God. To repay a shell. Almighty God. Just imagine the last eight months. Look at the water of evil that devil has brought to your house, has brought to your territory that you have not overwhelmed. Look at the destruction by the night and the pestilence in the day of the evil. 
wo awon iparun to rin ni oru ati ajakale arun to rin losan gogon you went through them you are not gone down o la rin won ko ja won o mu obale e se by the arrow that fly by the noon day wo ni awon fa to fo losan you never see but they never come near you oh for jury sibe won o ba o many accident god a wave away from your pathway he way many accidents from your pathway. Your home is supposed to be under the control of the sicknesses and diseases. But you are rising above them because of the mercy of God. Many are the people that are expecting that you should hear a bad news. But God continues to allow your ear to hear goodness. It is true, they said they have given you a certificate of death, but you are alive today. Because of the mercy of God. Tori kweshe anu ye Father we honor you this hour this morning over the church of God the door has not been closed the light on the altar have not gone down Lord we thank you for the canopy upon every soul that attend this church every soul that is connected to this altar to the extended family because you are reviving them lord we are glad this morning that you brought us from the so joking so the, from the from the satanic attack of last month from every evil of last month we break forth to a new day a new beginning a new month you are the one that is leading us we have not lead ourselves that is why we have our confidence in you we are dancing this morning we are glad in our spirit this morning not because we are 100 percent it's just because you are taking us to where we desire that is why we are glad thank for the battle you have won thank for the war you are silenced thank for the victory you are given and you give us a name that you say we are more than conqueror lord we love you this morning La Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of you, you are, I give you praise. Because of you, you are, I will live my fire and sing. Because of you, you are because of who you are. I give you glory. It's only God, it's because of Him. We are not consumed, we are not destroyed. Lord, it is because of your mercy and glory forever. Because of who you are. I will live by for the sea. Lord, I worship you because of you. Oh, for the last time, because of who you are, I give you glory. I give you all the honor and adoration because of who you are, Lord Jesus. I give you praise for the power of my heart. I give you praise of who you are. I will live my for and see. Lord, I worship you because of who you are.
because of you we were not consumed many are the terror in the land of nigeria lord we thank you because the land have not been destroyed and become extinct you are still walking in the land of nigeria walking us toward freedom of totality lord we want to say because of you death have not become abandoned everywhere and there because you still love this backland nation lord we are glad this morning because we wake up into a new month and in nigeria is still existing lord we thank you we bless your holy name in the same nigeria we are still giving births in the same nigeria we are doing businesses in the same nigeria we say happy for tomorrow it's just because of who you are that is why we give you praise this morning lord let your name be praised let your name be praised let your name be praised be glorified be thou exalted be glorified be thou exalted is he upon fire of joy international lord we just want to say your light did not go down here thank you lord our light of Israel do not go down. Thank you, Lord. The light of the covenant of God do not go down. Thank you, Jesus. We just have to continue praising your name. Thank you, Lord. Because you say, when your people praise you, the heads will yield their new beginning. Oh, yes. Lord, as we are praising you this morning, let the end of this month of August, let it begin to yield new beginning for your children in Jesus' name. Amen. No beginning for those who are looking for children. Amen. No beginning for those who look for employment. Amen. No for beginning for those who look for healing. Amen. No beginning for those who look for lifting. Amen. No beginning for those who look for good career. Amen. No beginning for those who need to conquer territory. Amen. So shall the Lord do for Amen. you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, as we proceed to this program, go with us, therefore. Amen. Never abandon us. Amen. Give for the understanding of this atmosphere. Amen. At the end of this today's service, let everyone who speak and those who hear become a benefit of this service in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we honor your name. Hallelujah. To you be the glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' marvelous name we are praying. Amen. 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 Fire. Go to about three people. Tell them, I give to you certificate of life. I've not asked you to sit down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Whenever anything died, they give a certificate of death. Whenever you see anyone die, they give such people a certificate of death. But I was reading somewhere in the Bible. When a disciple of Jesus came to meet, a disciple of John the Baptist came to meet Jesus. They told Jesus that John the Baptist sent us to this place to ask you a question. Are you the Messiah? Or we should be looking for another person. Jesus did not make an argument. He said, Go to everywhere you can find death. The issue to them is something of dead in the hospital. He said, but when Jesus arrived to their situation, I begin to give those families a certificate of life. He said, the devil came to steal, to kill them, and to destroy them. But I, Jesus, have come to visit them and give them a certificate of life. Not just ordinary life, but to give them life in abundance. So I announce to everyone here this morning, whatever is a certificate of death that they are given to your businesses, they are given to your career, that they are given to your womb, that they are given to your body. I stand on this altar this morning. I provoke a certificate of life unto your hand in Jesus' name. Receive certificate of life in Jesus' name. 
Receive certificate of life in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every dead organ in your body. I decree this money. Receive certificate of life in Jesus. Open your eyes. There is no medical center that can diagnose devil. Somebody hearing me? Huh? Don't ever encourage yourself. I'm not saying going to a medical hospital is not, is not good. It's good for us to really having some certain understanding. But it becomes contradictory when you put your trust in them. Why? Because no medical center can diagnose devil. No matter the kind of sickness it is. As long as the devil behinds it. It will even be rejected from any medical center. But as long as you are here this morning. If you have faith with this altar this morning. Wherever text that you have gone through, they say that there's not going to be any problem. That there's no solution. That you have to manage it by your drug. That you just have to live for that particular this sickness or whatever in your life. I bring you to the center of total medical solution this morning. Where there's a great physician in the house this morning. I speak to those particular area by the power in the name of Jesus. Live in Jesus. I said right now, live in Jesus. Every deformity spirit, every infirmity spirit that associated with your life that you shall not be who God said you should be. I make you to slap upon the bed of heaven right now. And I decree the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I say get out of your life in Jesus. Right? Every written stomach Every proptoned headache, every rheumatism, every deformity in any organs, in the mighty name of Jesus, vanish in Jesus' name. I escape you from death to life. I escape you from death to life. I escape you from death to life. Amen. You are not going to be the same again. Amen. Father, we honor you. Thank you, Jesus. You are the one that do all what you can do. Thank you, Lord. We can only provoke your name. Thank you, Jesus. And you do it on behalf of us. Oh, yes. So we believe so strongly that in this atmosphere, even I will begin to teach. As we begin to open revelation, somebody will encounter the power in today's service. Amen. And it will never remain the same. Amen. Lord will give all the praise to you. Hallelujah. Let your angel begin to walk in the heart of people. Amen. Let them begin to liberate them. Amen. Then the light of your world come to darknesses. Amen. Lord, we believe in you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' marvelous name we are praying. Amen. Sit down comfortably. Sit down comfortably. That language is just a miracle for somebody as I said it. You have not been sitting your business, have not been sitting comfortably before. But I must announce this back last statement. Somebody says somebody is sitting comfortably. In your marriage, you are sitting comfortably. If you believe it, then I'll say better amen. amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. I wish you happy new month. Same to you, sir. But the Lord made every day of this particular month to open new things for you. Yeah. You are not saying better, amen. Yeah. Just tap the person there. Don't give up. 
Tell the person there's a new package for you this month. If it's not smiling turn at all to another person, that person is not smiling. Because in this kingdom, joy is a fetcher for us. He said, With joy thou shalt draw. He did not say with frowning. He said, Not that your high is empty. He said, With joy. So if you don't have joy, you are your own. Ask the person, Are you having joy this morning? What did he answer you? So because you have said you have joy, every blessing the angel brings here this morning, none of them will miss you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The church is marching forward and the gate of hell cannot prevail over it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I have a little discussion with us this morning by the instruction of the Holy Ghost. But before I go ahead in that particular discussion, let me bring your mic quickly back to the drama we watched. Open your Bible to the book of Leviticus chapter 6 verse 13. Leviticus chapter 6 verse 13 as a good student in the house can we read together one to go one to go a fire shall always be burning on the altar it shall never go out a fire shall continue to burn on the altar it shall never go out revelation 5 verse number 8 Revelation 5, verse number 8. Revelation. Can we read together once again? Now, when he has taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb, each having a harp and a golden bowl full of incense. Which what? Which are what? Which are what? Which are what? Which are what? Before who? Before God. You can see that story. When your prayer crucible is empty, nothing will stand in the house. Yeah. They are just only picturing to everyone here this morning. When you stop praying, your crucible before God in heaven is empty. And as long as it's empty, no connectivity of answers. Never allow that particular bragging devil to make you foolish. That your business is more than prayer. Than your whatever engagement is more than spiritual activities. When you bore quite prayer, you have cancelled your answer from heaven. Somebody hearing me here? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are in the season of the end time that the Bible made us understand. Only of many shall wash cold. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we are in that season. And do you know why the devil is so deceptive? Show more you did. Let's on. Go and He will say, go outside and look for money. It's, it's not a must to go to church today. Use that time to rest. Christian, Marche Jafara, Dobangeli Retiwi. Ni a rio ta loa ma. 
the word that you should be able to be careful in that place, My it only son. means that your altar should not dry or die of fire. The moment the light go off, the darkness will arrive. Ask yourself truly this morning. Which do you give priority to? Seeking after God that created you or seeking at what God created. The truth is that what God created cannot give you life. But what God created, He created you and He can give you life. Listen to me. If you want to be a good believer, this version of this Bakla was should be able to be priority to you every day. Have I sent prayer into my golden crucible before God today? Because when God wanted to look at you, he looked at you through that Bakla crucible. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. This, this is a darkness. Uh, let me tell you, how many of you have been watching all this Bakla Yoruba film? That when you go to one Bakla Abalis, oh my big back or how many of you have watched this kind of film before? And you begin to see what is happening, isn't it? Well, now, this crucible of prayer before God, when it comes before God, the incense come, and when God hears it, it begins to look at your prayers, your requests, your petition, but when they are not there. God forgets you. Not that maybe he abandoned you. What? He forgets you. Let me read another version of this particular portion of the Bible in the book of Romans. Chapter 12, verse 11. I will read from another version, NIRV. Romans 12 verse 11. Romans 12 verse 11. If you have that version, you can look into it. N-I-R-V. N-I-R-V. Okay, fine. Can we read together, student of God? Never let the fire in what? In your heart what? Keep what? And what happened? Serve the Lord. Never allow that fire in your heart go down. Keep it alive. Then you serve the Lord. I pray that that particular administration this morning will give us understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, I'll be talking on designing your new beginning. No, as in design. Okay. Uh -huh. design. Like you are design, you are designing something, designing clothes, designing crafts, whatever. On Thursday, Holy Spirit make us to understand about we have come into a new beginning. And he said that new beginning starts within our spirit. Because often when you say to all believers or whoever that your new beginning starts, they first look at the outside of their life, not looking within themselves. In accordance to the economy of God, when God wants to do things in people's lives, it doesn't start things from the outside, it starts things from the inside. That's why it's established for you in advance that I look inward of a man, not the outward of a man. Your new beginning starts from your within. Not from without. Who you are in will be who you are going to be outside. Hallelujah. 
It said, out of the good treasure of the earth, it said, good things comes out. Likewise, out of the evil things in the earth, evil things comes out. So he told us in the book of Proverbs, he said, guard your heart with all diligence. That out of it flows your new beginning. Out of it flows your expectation. When you are not getting it right within, you are not getting it out better in the outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I told them on Thursday that for you to start new beginning from within there are four things that you have to follow. Number one, I told them a renewed thinking. A renewed thinking because your thinking is a gateway to your life. If your gate is so small, so the small delivery will be small. If your gate is enlarged, so your delivery will be enlarged. We receive so small within our externality because our gateway, which is called our thinking, is so small. Proverbs 23 7 says, As man think in his heart, he says, So is he. Proverbs 23 7. Not Roman. No, uh, not Roman. As man think in his heart, so is he. So if you want to begin a new thing in your life, how are you thinking right now concerning any matters in your life? If you say in your heart it is impossible, it cannot be possible outside. It can never be possible. And that is why the devil will not deceive you with the things outside, but if not deceive you with the thing within. Another thing I told them is a renew of your attitude. Caleb and Joshua were able to get into promised land because they have another spirit. And another spirit in that place interpreted to mean a renewal of attitude. A thinking that provides a problem cannot be the same thinking that will solve this that will bring the solution. There must be a new attitude of you from yesterday. If you want your marriage to be okay. Change from yesterday attitude into a new attitude. If you want your finance to express a new beginning, change your financial attitude and come and see a new beginning concerning your finances. Number three thing I told them is this a renewed vision. Your vision of yesterday is not sufficient for tomorrow. You know why? When you are single, your vision is just to buy one pack of Indomie. And you eat and you go and sleep. Now you have married. Your vision needs to be renewed. No one single of what? Indomie again. Probably you buy like four. Now your children have had it to eat. You need to renew what your vision. You go to a store or a mall shop and buy a pack or what of Indomie. If your vision is not different from that single person, instead of new beginning, it's going to be new crying, new wailing, and new weeping. Somebody follow what I'm saying this morning. Because these are some of the way I'm going somewhere. Because if your vision is not renewed, you may not be promoted. Yes. And Bible told us. It said, 
Joseph had another dream. Only Joseph will see la, la, me. Bigger than the one he had that he was told by what? He told his brothers. You are now in the month of August. What is the vision you are going to have different from July? Because with new vision come new beginning. Children of God. This I said, go and listen to the message once again in any of our platform. Let it be burning in your heart and let not the fire go down. Otherwise, you might be following Christ and not see the benefit of Christ. The number four that told them, renew your decision. You go far in life in accordance to the adequacy of your decision. Yes, sir. Make a wrong decision, you get to a wrong place. Most of all that found ourselves in difficulties today, you will attract it by the heart. That only can make decisions here. I pray for every one of us this morning. Your new day will not be destroyed by your attitude in Jesus' name. Amen. Fire. So God wants us to bring us into a perfect understanding this morning. In respect of our role of engagement. In betting a new beginning of our destiny. Why am I here this morning? To speak the word of Holy Ghost to you. For you to have the understanding. Your own role. In betting your own new beginning. Instead of leaving everything out in the hands of God. You have a participatory responsibility or responsibilities. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because oftentimes when you ask a believer, can this thing happen? Immediately what we will tell you no, no, That believer will respond by saying that it's I'm, God that does I'm not denying the fact that he is the one that can do all things. As much as God can do all things. It determines with your partnership with him. Your partnership with God. We always quickly delete ourselves from the agenda of God fulfillment. That God will be the one that should do all. The truth is this. Before you get to that class space. God already done all. And is only waiting for your own participatory responsibility. To bear that particular dimension you ever desire. So when I say designing your own new beginning. I'm trying to make you to understand through the revelation of Holy Ghost that. That you have to come to awareness. You have to come to consciousness. That where is my own participatory responsibility in this matter? God created the heart. But never, never do it alone. But it brings a space for a man to participate. He said, let the, all the animals pass before men. And men, man begin to name those animals. So God, man participate with God in betting the creation. He 
the new beginning that you are envisage the new beginning that you want God to create around you is also in your hand by designing needs no manufacturer produce a product without inserting a manual in order to divide whoever that purchases it how he can maximize the use of that product when you buy a product that does not have a manual you are left to assumption am I talking somebody here you are left to what assumption an assumption is a zero level of knowledge yeah Boya te ba so efo efo fun leni boya inu oko ya do abalo nse sa Boya te ba ti efo ora mi sile lati je ko ba mi so abalo nse sa Am I talking somebody here Yes sir Boya te ba te lo ra ana ke fun oga yen be o te ma promote me those assumptions Abala san ni Am I talking somebody here Ah te ba de office mi te ba wa ti ma te ti koko kun le ma gbadura you are still in azumi O si ta ba ni Yeah you have not gone to the manual that defines your role of engagement. Yeah. When you find that manual and you read your own roles of engagement, number one, you will do that thing faster than Azumi. Number two, if that thing get lost in your hand, wherever you find yourself, you can reproduce what you are learned inside that particular manual. Your role of engagement that you need to do in designing your own new beginning. Jeremiah 51, 20 to 23. Jeremiah 51 20 to 23 You are my battle axe a weapon of war God is speaking to me now you For with you say with me I can't hear you church say it loudly say it loudly Okay look at the mouth of the person beside you let me hear you looking at the mouth and why you are saying together with what uh -huh. whoever that is not talking bring him for deliverance yes we might not know what is happening to him maybe by the time we conduct deliverance some spirit of uh, mouth stiffening with what we go hallelujah for with you and I we break what the nation in what in pieces what again with you and what I we what we destroy the kingdom next verse 21 we're going to 23 quickly please with you and I again, we what? We break in pieces the what? The horses and the rider. What again? With you, hi, we what? We break in pieces the what? The chariots and what? The rider. Verse 22. Let's read again. One to go. Good student. With you also and I, we break in pieces man and woman. Uh huh. Uh huh. Verse 23. Let's try now. Want to go? With you also, I will break in pieces the shepherd and his flock. With you, I will break in pieces the word, the farmer and his yoke of oxen. And what? With you, I will break in pieces governors and rulers. You can see the project of God in your life. That if you want me to break anything, any whatever is the yoke in your life, it shall be between me what and you. Somebody hearing me here. Yeah? My father always make a parable. Baba, my Hallelujah. Amen. God is announcing to your family. If I need to break your family into a new beginning of laughter, I require your participating role. 
Don't sit down in your house and be telling Mama Titi, Mama Titi is about the day church. Emma Wagba, Drao. And when you get to church, pray for me. Ah, Mama, 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 these are the disease that devil are planted into many believers of this end time. And it is because they have been deceived that they are not part, they don't have responsibility in betting their own new beginning. Listen to me. If you must see a pregnant woman giving birth, it must be ready to push. Am I talking somebody here? Yes, sir. Oh, money, let it be. She will have to push. So, but more, I see that it be. If she's not ready to do so, go back before we no more. Let her forget about the baby. Ah, Pastor, I'll align Pastor, we can go through a series. That is not a natural way. And the doctor will tell you, sign the what? Your death warrant on the ground before we do it. Why did that, why the doctor tell you to sign? He's trying to tell you in advance, this is what 50 50. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. God is trying to bring you out of where you are. To make you to become conscious that if you want me to do this in your life, I need your participatory responsibility. That marital life that are becoming bitter cannot be sweet until you will go down on your knee yourself. It is true, Pastor can pray for you, man. Sir, Pastor can fast on your behalf. But if you want to see the manifestation of God in your life day by day, you need to come to the altar yourself. And take up your responsibility. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. You need to design your own new beginning by yourself. Pray to yourself this morning in about one minute. Say, Father of lies. I receive revelation of awareness to know my responsibility to bet my own new beginning. Father of lies. I will receive revelation of awareness to bet my own new beginning. Pray that prayer in about one minute. She me you, hold you and me, King Leria. She me let you, me, King Leria. Pray that prayer. In Jesus' marvelous name, we pray. Amen. Fire. Why you listen to this pastor message? I pray for you this morning. Either you are sitting at home, either you are in your office, or you are in the vehicle, or you are walking on the road. I release upon you this morning unusual revelation of awareness, unusual revelation of consciousness to know your own participatory responsibility in the matter of God concerning you in Jesus. Amen. Fire. Open your eyes. John chapter 2, verse 7. Give me NIV. John chapter 2, verse 7. John 2, verse 7. Give me NIV. Jesus said to the servant, Fill the jars with water. So them, so they fill them what? To the brain. Hallelujah. Every one of us, as a student of the Bible, we understand what happened in this particular chapter. The whole wine they are having is, is finished. 
are about to enter into a contract of shame. What if I were in no Because they are invited guests from everywhere. One of Jesus was there. Jesus can't be in this house and this thing continue here. Jesus can't be in my business and every this particular harassment continue with my business. Jesus can't sit in my marriage and marriage is witnessing bitterness. Many might not know that Jesus is there but somebody that is connected to heaven knows that Jesus is there. And he went to meet with him. He said, son, things are not working right here. Sometime in your journey of life, you must humble yourself to the level to say, Lord, more, more, but in my money be. Yes, even pastor, even pastor himself, either you are ever who you are. You must come to that point in life. And say, God, oh, Lord, more, more, more. So we say, God, I don't know what is next. At that time, you have come to your last end, and you are God have not come to his own last end. And even Jesus told the man, the woman, he said, This is not my time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> there was a thing. I just remember now concerning my home that I will use to relate to this. I got home one day, my wife has not arrived from, uh, from Shagam. My children have said they are hungry. I don't want it to really even attend to them. That is the truth. Because I'm tired. And I told them to just maybe wave them away. I said, okay, uh, you go and carry this. Go and carry this. You go and carry this. You go and start doing it. I will come and meet you. I know that I will still push them to go and do, but I just use that one to wave them away. They did everything. And I come to the point where I myself should come and do that thing I know to do because the other one, they don't know how to do. Only daddy, only the chef. Only the You know, the man fish to manage coffee to you. You have to come up with the food. The food is almost ready. Come and have that thing so that we not reluctantly. Reluctantly, Laura, I stood up because I don't want her to waste their effort. Number two, I look at the money I used to buy those baklava things so that it should not be wasted. Number three, my children should be able to look up to me that daddy is at home. Reluctantly, I stood up and I go to the, I went to the kitchen and I do what I wanted to do. In about maybe ten minutes, the thing is done. Daddy, thank you. Daddy, thank you. Why did I say thank you? I was going back to where I am. I want to go and rest. Why did I say this? When you know your participating role in betting your own new beginning, ever will not be silenced against you. Yeah. Your participating role is for you to pray. Keep on praying. Your participation is to serve in the kingdom. Keep on serving. Now look, if God will keep quiet and you enter into shame. No. No, no. But devil will tell you, well, show the Oh, you And the moment you stop, heaven answer stop. Because you have a participatory role to play. So Jesus told them. He said, fill the pot with water. When you read that John 2, 7 very well. Because I don't know why they take it away from there. Jesus did not tell them to fill the water to the brim. 
It is the expectation of what those people want. They acted on their expectation. That is telling you when you come to prayer room sometime. Do not pray because of what you are what you are passing through right now. I will explain that one through another parable of my father. Because he was to be sent out of Oh Lord, sorry, He went to the altar and was Oh no, He said, God, give me one house. Let it do you till Lord do it. So that I can disappoint. Oh, let me crow, you lay. I went the Lord answered him. Oh, God gave him one house. He went to the 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 house. Immeasurable more above what you are thinking or what or you are praying for. Lord, if you can give me a job that will pay my house. What about you? What about the house? What about you? 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 I'm talking to somebody here. Yes, sir. And Bible said they fill the water to what? To the brim. He didn't tell them to fill it to the brim. They are tired of the shame that they are witnessing. And they created their own new beginning. Hallelujah. Amen. That's where I want you to design your own new beginning. Deuteronomy chapter 1. We are going to read verse number 6 and verse number 8. Deuteronomy chapter number 1. We are going to read verse 6 and number 8. And verse number 8. The Lord our God spoke to us in Horeb, saying, You are dwell long enough at this mountain. And another shall say, You are wander enough in this mountain. Where that particular mountain of stagnancy that is standing beside you. It could be Nigeria. Yeah. It could be the territory where you are born. And to some people here, which are more, it could be their mindset. Because whenever they come to that situation, and they are oh. I'm a manager, bear. So we manage it like that. Say I will not manage it. Me only manage here. Oh, the manager is so. Chesu. Oh, the manager is she. Ah, me Chesu. Oh, the manager is Padase. Ah, me Chesu. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. There's a way devil will write a definition of challenges to you, and you said we will separate. Oh no, come what? Since Satan is my fiche, I'm one day sure of you. And we concluded that it's all over. But God is announcing to somebody here this morning. He said you are dwell and you are parabolate and you are wander around that situation for long. I'm giving you today a new beginning. Verse number 8. It says see. Tell somebody beside you see. I can't hear you. Say it very well. Now ask, what do you see? Don't answer the person when he asks you that question. Mori Baba Jebu. That is some people's own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> because what you see, it matters to what you are going to create. I'm not talking somebody here. It matters to what you are, you are going to create. That is why television is so powerful. And devil is using it so powerfully. Because he knew that whatever a man see in a long time effect, he will have effect in the man. And that is why David said, I will not say before me things that are what that are defied. David said it. 
I will not say it before my eyes. Hallelujah. He says, see, I have said the land before you. New beginning. Go in and what? Possess the land. Which the Lord swear to what? To your fathers. To Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. To give to them and their what? Their descendants after them. Can you give me message version of this verse 8? Message version. Let me see what the message version says. Message version. Verse 8. Look, I've given you this land. Now, go in and what? Take it. Tell the person beside you, go and take it. Toba and free reluctant. Go and take it. Uh-huh. It is for you. It is not for any other person. He said, go and take it. It's an action word. A very powerful word. Because the communion of this morning is an irritant communion. Uh -huh. Irritant communion. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes when your child swallows something that he needs not to swallow, they will inject him or give him a tablet. He will start vomiting all those unnecessary things out of his body. So it is this particular today's communion. By the time you swallow it, everything that needs not to be in your life, you begin to become dissatisfied with it. It will begin to irritate you. You will no longer think about them again. You will no longer be participating in them again. Until you enter your new beginning in Jesus. That is the table you are taking this morning. Yeah, because some of us have consumed many things that will not allow our thinking to be great. We have eaten so many things that our body are customized to that never even though the poor anointing we will still remain the same. And Bible told us anytime we partake in this food we are partaking in divine nature of God. Divine nature of God which is immune to every affliction. Immune to any kind of limitations. The question to you this morning is this. What do you see that this communion is making you to vomit out of your life? You are the one that can define it. That is why I said you are the one that will design your new beginning. When you swallow it, what do you want your money to vomit out? When you swallow it, what do you want your businesses, your relationship, what do you want it to vomit out? My prayer for you this morning is this. Every poison that devil have injected into your DNA that is making your blood to be refusing greater things. That is making your, your blood to be refusing the crown of life. By the time you swallow this communion, every poison will be neutralized in Jesus' name. Most people that experience turn around to a new season in the Bible. Their life came to a new beginning. Because they are dissatisfied with yesterday. They are dissatisfied for one level. Listen to me. What you are not dissatisfied about will continue to what to be with you. Yeah. What you permit, you always stay with you. 
it will always stay with you oh ba lo si oke glan gbodo ko lo gbadura even if you go to any mountain as long you permitted it they will stay sir it will look as if you are wasting your time. But the moment you are dissatisfied, the moment you are restless about it, a new beginning image, imagination begins to come to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you read the book of Genesis, chapter 15, verse 2 to 5. It is the story of Abraham. It was dissatisfied. It was dissatisfied with be, for, for being in barrenness. He told God. He said, God, is this Eliezer, the son of Damascus, that will inherit me? He was provoking his spirit, talking to God. Like somebody need to be provoked in the Holy Ghost anger this morning. That I don't want a poverty level again. I don't want barrenness around my businesses again. Sickness should not be growing with me day by day. I should not have children and none of them can be pointed to their grades. No, sir. So something should irritate your stomach today. If they do not, no matter the anointing they pour upon you, sir, nothing will move forward. When you read the book of Genesis 30 30, you also find in that place the life of Isaac and Jacob. He told Laban. He said, Laban, I'm tired of this slavery business. I'm the one walking in the sun. I'm the one walking in the cold. But you are the one being, being blessed. Where will I prepare for my own house? He was tired of that situation. He became restless of the situation. Listen to me, church. Until you are tired of hold, you can never achieve the new. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, of course, if I if, if I make a sound now, I want you to really answer me. What kind of sound it is? I mean, if I, I've used that per club uh, the phone before, 3310. Raise up your hand now. 3310. Let me sing it. <laughs> you guys, you are used to it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> there was a place I went to in the market. <laughs> that, that phone just ran somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that woman just said, Ah, I want you to join the phone here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And you know what just now surprised us is that it is the same place where we want to go and market. We now asked mommy, I said, Ah, I got phone here to relay. I want phone here to join. Only oh, no, only oh, no. Ah, you know, when he said no, and I said, Mommy, can I see the phone? A new Android phone, but they want a whole ringing tone. Meaning that somebody can be in 2023 and be living a life of 1980. Yeah. Meaning you can be in a new year and your destiny is not new. If that be anybody here this morning like that, I tear down all those yoke in your life in Jesus' name. No, you must be in the new month and new things should happen in your life. Yeah. New things should happen. Hallelujah. When you read the book of Genesis, likewise, 27 verse number 40, that place was talking about Esau. Remember, they came to meet their father Isaac. 
and Jacob receive all the blessings. The only statement that Esau got is that if you can become restless, that's the only day you can be delivered. And truly, Esau become restless. He become dissatisfied. The cause of that yoke upon Esau was broken. Remember the story between him and his brother. His brother was so afraid. He shared all his portion. That I may not know if I meet Esau, Esau can kill me. But finally, when he meet Esau, he was even using some animal to what to bribe Esau. But his brother told him, he said, Don't bother. I have more than enough. That will be a song of somebody this month. I said that will be a song of somebody this month. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. But you must be dissatisfied with yesterday. Husband and wife will be moved this morning. I said, husband and wife will be moved. Will, they will be moved this morning. They will get home. And in that big binga. This is our 15 years in this house. From this back land next week. Let's begin to lay foundation. Amen. Let's lay the foundation. Let's one part apartment of 15 years. Let's lay the foundation. 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 let the and that is my prayer for everyone here. Amen. The Lord will manifest it. Amen. And it shall be unto the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You must be dissatisfied with yesterday. Things cannot continue like this. Things must not remain like this. What is in the mind of God concerning you this month? God does not want you to remain where you are. God has prepared something new for you. You need to move into action if you must bring it to manifestation. He said, Go and take it. May you take your own portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your new beginning should not carry it carry two dimensions. It carry two dimensions. The first aspect is substance. Something that you can touch. Okay. Substance. Yeah, because many of us will go ahead like the way we have been going and we'll be saying, ah, I'm under the new atmosphere or new beginning. Somebody will ask anybody, what is the new beginning in your life? There are things that you can see. That is number second is that it is evidence. They can what they can see. What they read, what they read. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Meaning it, it should be seen. Because be you know you to watch the do you make what as you earn Something has happened to her. I'm talking somebody here. You can't enter this particular new beginning and something should not happen in your life. I open your head full of new beginning today in the mighty name of Jesus. Over your businesses, over your children, over your career, over your education, over your wife, in the precious name of Jesus. You will never live where you are in life until you make decision where you ought to be in life. You will never 
until you make a decision. You must ask yourself, where would you rather be? Where would you rather be? Because you are the one designing your new beginning. After you leave service this morning, let that question pound in your spirit. Where would you rather be in your marriage? Where would you rather be concerning your children? Where would you rather be in your faith walk with God? When you have not asked this particular question, you are not going to be under pressure to take a new decision. These are the reason why you see many people in church on Sunday and when they come to Monday, you will never know that either they go to church. Because what they had, immediately they step out of the comfort of the church, the bed of the head have come to pick it away. So that it should not manifest in their life. Listen to me. Church is not a place where I just wanted to come and maybe Dara come walking by the Joloruko. No, church is more than that. Church is a place where you are being imparted to go and be light and salt in the wherever you are. That's why we have church. Somebody hearing me here. Hallelujah. Second Kings says one and two. Second King. Also finished. Second King says one and two. The story of this particular people. Can you give me NIV or NLT before I can go to New King James Version? It's the story of the sons of the prophets. For a long time, they stayed in one apartment that tightened them. And they'll be hearing their leader, which is Elisha, prophesying over people, and things is happening. You go and bet, and they went to go and bet. You go and get job, and he went. He went to go and get job. You open your eyes, and the eyes were open. And they carry the same anointing with the pastor, but yet it be a year old and a football. Because they are yet to make decision of where they ought to be. They want new beginning. But they don't want to partake. They want God to just bring it to them. They don't want to write the exam. They don't want to serve their boss and they want promotion. The husband never wants to love the wife and he want the wife also to submit and that thing never comes to pass. They've forgotten that they have a participatory responsibility in all agenda of God. He wants a job. He didn't want to write CV. No, sir. When it happens sometimes, it is not the order of the day. It's an exception time. But if you want new beginning every day, you must understand and come to awareness of your own participatory responsibility. Yes, sir. And Bible said to us there here, he said, the company of the prophet said to Elisha, look, the place where we meet with you is what? I can't hear you. Some people are sleeping. Tell him, don't sleep on me this morning. Don't sleep on me this morning. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. He said what? It's too small. Verse number two. Let's read together. I want to go. La read louder. I want to go. Let us go to what? To the Jordan. Where each of us, what, can get a pole and what? Let us build a place there for us, what, to live. And he said, what, go. 
I speak to somebody here this morning. That new beginning that you want to start, I said, go and start. Amen. I said, go and start. Amen. In that marriage, go and start. Amen. In that business, go and start. Amen. Over your children, go and start. Amen. In the mighty name of hey. Jesus. Hey. Fire. They are tired of yesterday. I they are tired of one level of life. It is true. They start from that place. But they don't want to end in that place. They have a new thought. And they desire where they want their new beginning to be. And they involve the man of God. We want a new beginning in Jordan. Let us go there. No, sir. somebody here. They know those things are existing. But they made up mind that we don't want to sit down here. We want to be in the other side. And the man of God says, go and achieve your new beginning. You too can start your new beginning. You must ask yourself a question. Where would I rather be in the next two months? I want you to write down six area where you ask this question. Yeah, please write it down. That is where would I rather be? Benny, where would I be concerning my marriage? Just put here in the next 12 months, where will I be? Yeah. Number one area that you should have this question is the area of your spirituality. This speak about your relationship with God. What should be your spiritual growth? What should be your spiritual goal? That's number one area you must look into. If you must design your own new beginning. Many of us now, we don't read Bible daily. We don't read weekly. Even monthly, we don't read. And you want to be praying like Elijah. Sir, it is impossible. Nobody will come to that new beginning. You must first ask yourself that question. Where would I rather be in my spiritual life? When you ask yourself that question, for a whole two months, you must stay in that particular portion. Yeah. And you begin to answer. I want to begin to read my Bible one verse every day. Five verses in a week. I'm not talking to somebody here. Hallelujah. Because when you do not ask yourself that kind of question, you cannot create a new beginning in your spiritual life. It is impossible. No, 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 no. no. It is impossible. Nobody just grows spiritually by themselves. No. Under that particular canopy, you also ask yourself, how many hours did I want to pray in a day? I want to be praying 15 minutes every day. Put it down. All these things will gather to make you to come into a new beginning of a new spiritual life. I will make sure I'm not absent in the church in the weekly activities. It is part of your spiritual world, your new beginning. Never behave like Samson. 
Tell the person beside you, don't ever behave like Samson. Tell the person, never behave like Samson. Do you know what he did? He said, and let me arise in my power. Where is the power? Because it's not concerned about it. That is what many people in the Bible and many people in the church are intended to do. Ah, it just go bad day, mad day, mad bad day. Oh Lord, be Lord, it's a drama. Show bad day. I'm only lament, only lament. Or this bad, nobody is very fucking it. Ah no, I'm not talking somebody here. Can she pray? I talk bad. Enjoy it, 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 or enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Wala, can she pray? I long bad sir. He told me bad. Koto di join yenisa. I'm not talking somebody here. I koto do bad day. Enjoy it, bad day. Enjoy bad. What is my bad day? Day. So Nick, but Tobacco, I got a shaking. I got a coin, sir. I'm not talking somebody here. Tell the person beside, don't be a lazy person. Yeah. Don't be a lazy person. Mashallah. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two area where you have to call to focus. Write it down. My family life. Yeah, your family life. If you want new beginning in your family life, you must begin to cultivate a new attitude in your family. See, listen to me. You know, many of us are younger than some people that are already grown. Many of us have not spent many years in our marriage. Many of us are just starting. But listen to me. The, the, the greatest ministry of life is a ministry of family. Yes. When a family miss it, a society will miss it. A family, a society will miss it totally. Those in the National Assembly, they have father and mother, isn't it? You are not answering me. Those who are outside there that are drinking shisha, they have father and mother, isn't it? Because when you see area father, he has been area boys before. Somebody hearing me here? It doesn't just come down like that. It doesn't just come out. Hallelujah. And they start in the family. Many of us are not intentional concerning our family. And we want to begin a new thing. And we are asking for God for a new thing in our family. And we don't want to really create it. Under your family life. Right here, dear. I will be calling my wife a sweet name. I will call my, my, my husband a sweet name. I will not deny my wife or my husband this All day. those things you are writing down, they are your prayer points. Pastor, I don't have prayer yes, points. It's because you don't have that's why you don't have the points. Hallelujah. My behave like that came to meet me in office. Oh. My pastor, this thing is happening to you. the name of Jesus. Only amen, fire. She said amen, fire. I to go. Only pastor should turn here. He said, Pastor, is that Only hey, you know, hey, you know, see me. You know, call television. Hallelujah. Amen. DSTV. Hallelujah. Mo badura fun loruko Jesu oni pe se mo tin ni ro. DSTV lo ba lo gbe wa. Hallelujah. Amen. No wonder that one so so in the ATM, turn so di gba, o gba shot gba shot agbe wo dani. Looking for all prophet like pastor up and down. Because one fe je ko se kini, ko ri DSTV fa won. O wa bo ile ke kiri to ran fe kon rin ran si awon. Am I talking somebody here? In no be, in no ba be. I'm only telling the kind of pastor me ko to wa so do me ko ti mo pe. Or la maso or be belly, I dig that dura. Maso will break a warrior of way. Tell my friend on me, maso of way. I'm not on somebody here. Mama belong with the pastor share, you know. I walk the person out. I said, Go, 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 go. I said, Go. Hallelujah. 
He didn't tell him to go Pastor Josie Bruni. The pastor go and Pastor Josie Bru. My Lord, so don't want around one year. On what day is the big car? Oh, the cousin of office, yo. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we are so when you are not being, not Pastor Consor, you say not being, not being. Hallelujah. Make sure you open wash church, Lord. Now, so if you wash church, Lord, come and be. To renew the bello means. Hallelujah. E wa ri mi o, e wa ri mi ejo. E wa ri mi. E wa ri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I just have to make you to understand the truth of this thing. Amen. I mean that is so tough for our world. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Number 3. Keta. Your career life. Ishere. Benny. Kosi be Right it there. That this month I will go and increase my knowledge about my. How will you expect a new salary and a new profit when all what you know is about old school? Between January and this particular August, nobody has ever gone to training about the training that is into. Listen to me. We just be seeing do you will not see I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a doom pastor. I'm yeah. only telling you me if you want a new you. beginning, no, go and what? Go and learn more about what what you are doing. Yes, if you are working in an organization, walk up to your boss. Sir, I want to know more about this computer that I'm doing. The only thing you will hear is any office or thing, no, any okay, draw dear. She bought oh, soldier dear, he beloma, she beloma, and it's too much. One second, one dow only. Our losori, okay, long bodu, Olua, and it's on by major, Olua, and Talumbeja, you were long barreja, you were. Because you do not know new thing, a new beginning will not what will not come. So yes. It will not come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. On no rich rich no man face rice. She born no color white rice. Oh money pa coconut. Oh money pa father. Oh money pa kini jollof rice. Oh money pa fried rice. But what white rice? Because any so a kuni ata one more ni nule. Asu osa. Asu o de kwe de enya wo. O kwe de enja de ni bobo ba. To ba ti do shishe. A beson do mama to cheke ni. Cut cut ni no. Cut ni no fi bo church. Ani a ani kini ani ra. Che koko no ta biki ni one kilo fe je. A cheke ni a se one kilo fu iwa dele wa tu biki ni white rice wa. Inu no ma fi je sa. Ani koma da kwe paso ma bokwe mo cheke ni mo je oni le. Je oni le. Hallelujah. And to repeat, to repeat, to go to the fuck up. Go go, but no man has shown more buyer. Or let let it. I got it one no let let. I go check in college. Ah, this is a pretty lady. So, but it's not shown more buyer. So, our dap, our dap, our dap. I let the shower. Go send to check in. Go send to read me. Mama, the cock or soup. I do it. Hallelujah. Amen. And no, I don't call. I never cook. Oh, cook for no more. If I no marry, pack. I'm a pack to man. Go here. A tag bang bang. Ni wa judle. No man. No man. Check in. No man. Feel no pain. See, see. Let me tell you. I'm not saying those things are, are bad. Me, but I'm only telling you that. that there are season that you do that, and there are season what you should not do it. Yes, sir. I'm telling you the truth. By the time you see before December in this particular show, you see a new thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't be coming here and you feel the same way. No. No, it's impossible. It's impossible. Somebody hear me here. And when God's shifting the church, your life also what? Should be shifting. Number four. Your earth life. Your earth life. <laughs> I'm teaching you how to design your own world, your own new beginning. Look at your earth life. Mommy, a job. Mommy, please. Emma for you. No, see, at your She like forty something. reduce our spices. Dear, dear, dear. You are washing your earth life. 
angel will never come and wash it for you. Mm. Somebody can hear me here. Yes, sir. It will never come, sir. Angel, you call my chef, man. No wonder every part of your body is filled with sugar. No wonder every part of your body is filled with sugar. Many of us, we never look into this area of our life. into this area of our life. And we want our head to receive what? A new beginning. Ask the person beside, when have you gone last to check your BP? Ask the person. When have you gone last to check your BP? And if you know, and if you know, Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not saying that you're not going to leave. You know what happened? Because you went to go and check yourself. You will give you prayer points. You cannot just be throwing your wasting your I'm going to be specific about your prayer You want to be specific when last have you checked yourself? Do you know that many people are even afraid to go and do checking? Is it not? Listen to me. It's because you don't have faith. If you go and check, and the doctor said, Ah, mommy, a job, bye, 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 loan, shame, whatever. You go back to God like Ezekiah. Am I talking to somebody here? He said, Whose report will you what? Will you believe? It's because you don't have faith. Yes. And the truth is this. From research, listen to me. From research, those who are able to know their condition, they live more 25 years than people that just live assumption. I'm, I'm t- go and say, go and search Google to look at this thing. You live better 25 years more than people to check in it. Yes, sir. Because when you know, you'll be able to know what the prayer what to pray. You know the prayer to pray. Like what? That's how some people work. We are doing business. Oh, You don't know what is happening there. Some people are doing business. They 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 are doing business. It must be one seven hundred word, seven hundred and ten naira. Oh, to fi one naira ala no. Oh, le fi rale ni. Me ni obono ko seven hundred and ten naira. John koto cheke ni koto ra koto ra niki ni one naira ala no. That's what it means. Now you want to spend two naira. How much is that? Seven ten times what? Times two. Oh, wala suya. Ah, tia mo kono. Iya tiji. Ah, she shu kolomba inja i bobo jai. Tomo bobo balo jai ma wo eshu baja. Because you want to share the Lord and giving the Lord no raje. Oh, mo. Don't know what is happening in your business or career. Somebody hear me here. Yes, sir. There are sucking many people in organization today. Wonderful. And many people will be saying, Oluwa Jo, my jack on sack me, my jack on sack me. Let me tell you. They should not be sacked. Let me tell you. If you are among those whom they are going to sack, the only way you can remove yourself is to become valuable. Yes. Become what? I can't hear you, ma. What did I mean by valuable? Let me say it in Yoruba. Am I talking here? So So go and become valuable. They will not remove you. to 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 Go and learn more. Be you and after you pray. I will set more coin. Just go go me for so you can this work I've learned more. Let me find favor in the sight of my boss. Somebody hearing me here? Yes, sir. Number five. 
your financial life. It's so it should not. Uh, your financial life. You want God to begin a new thing in your finance. When last have you saved? When last have you saved? Yes, sir. When last have you saved? Are you not using all your ten hands to eat? Oh, when the artist is going to share the kingdom, we need no law. No one of Joshua, no cook busy. Oh, what you know? Hallelujah. Amen. When you are not careful with your financial life, you may not see a new beginning in your finance. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. You are doing business or you are trading. You are not doing what? You are not doing a job. And that I judge you. Some people have a wrong mentality about it. Do you know why you do, do saving? The reason why you do saving is to bring investment around you. Not to bring it into uh, a materialism. For example, and it comes on that job. Somebody is saving. Kini to the Christmas. Not investment. Yes. Investment in Boloa in Nuku. Hallelujah. Amen. You if you save money in order to, to look at the trend of business around you to see which one can I invest to so that my money can what can be multiplied. Please, if you have mentality of doing that job, you buy a job to say. It's a different thing that you share your office on school or more. That's an investment. So bad, that's your, that's Somebody hear me here. Pay your child school fees. It's a different case. It's an investment. But on that job, to rip off her as she be. But you are saving towards buying material things. I wonder that as she be, maybe it will last you another three years. Somebody hear me this morning. Yes, sir. You must look at your financial life. And create a new beginning for it. Listen to me. You must have had serious of story about why do you have to save your money in bank. In the sense that somebody will tell you that why do you, that bank is not a good place to save your money. Listen to me. Money that you don't save in bank and you keep it to your hands. It is reducing by inflation. It is true. Bank will not give you bigger interest rates. What they did is that they loan you wisdom. Am I talking something here? What year? Nikini. So that when you are ready to spend the money, you will not squander it. Am I talking somebody here? Yes, sir. Tori only if you saw Baba Bingpe. But oh, the bank also on nowhere. Am I talking here? Yes, sir. Why go where, Pada? Your money is always intact. Then you know go and what and invest in what what you want to invest. Somebody hearing me here? Yes, sir. Number three, under that one, let me say this. How many of you are? How many of you intend to invest in land? You want to invest in land property? And you may know Raise up your hand now. You want to invest in land, land property? You don't know the reason why I'm asking. Raise up your hand. Let me see. Okay, you want to invest in land property. Okay, on Thursday, you put that raised up your hand and show that you are in the service on Thursday. You people that do not raise up your hand, don't come and see me. Don't come and see me. Don't come and see me. You that, you tell me, no, what's okay? You say, I'm joking, 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 Hey, no. <laughs> but, 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 but
Uh, uh, that's why I'm worried. I don't there's some land you buy around 180,000 to 50,000. Just, just give it about six months, or be about one year, you'll be selling it around 500, 600. Somebody hearing me here. And that one also, you can multiply it again. Surely. Because if you're in Nigeria, I want to know what you're shaking it. As simple as that. May the Lord show you the pathway. And that is why you are hearing this morning. Number six. Your personal growth. That's where I want Your personal growth. Somebody hearing me. Your personal growth. That's where I want What you know more than your challenger is what you, know more than your challenger is what you are going to win, use to what? To win that challenger. Many of us are here. It is true. We have graduated from school. How many personal growth books have you read? Yes. For your, for your growth. Hallelujah. How many people lower London into Shishé? Three, God bless you. Talonia, you'll be married to Shishel on there. Mary, Maru. Okay, they came. One, God bless you. Now, if you have somebody, even it is one, that you have that is working under you, if you want that particular business to multiply, you must have a knowledge of training that person adequately. Adequately. When I say adequately, I'm not talking assumption teaching, teaching and training. You know, assumption training is that that is an assumption training. Somebody hear me here. Yes, sir. A deliberate train is that while well, you do a job on be through three hours. Be like three hours. To Obama say of father rise. If you want to cook a father, he rule in one year. This is the measurement to cook with one. I'm not talking somebody here. Hallelujah. Now, why you are doing that? You are solving two problems. One for your organization. Two. I will come back. I am not somebody here. And listen to me. What what for you? Is it not? 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 Is you are going to charge them. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. So why you are making money from your organization? You are also making money what? In your training. That is why whatever you are doing, oh, go and so know more share. about it. Not because it's a two dimension. One for your organization. Two okay, for what? Share. For your personal okay, blessing. I am in that organization where I am. Apart from providing solution for them in the organization, people are calling me everywhere to come and do consulting for them. And that is why I never ask you in this particular church. Oh, you can never find me there. I'm not talking somebody here. If you pay, pay. Is according to what you and God. I will not come and challenge you. Why? Because I too am doing my what? I'm doing my own things. Yes, I'm doing my own things. And I shall do my time. That when I'm going for this particular training, it is out of the, my personal growth. That many book I'm reading. Because whoever that's going to train must know the man that what those what who is being trained. There are different categories of people. You have to be awkward at home. Mommy, you are not doing it. 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 
Alofo we ra chinchin, abi eh flower, ashe ashe kini afro olo. There's a space of that. But what you need to do that turn it to what to a business. So do you go? Am I talking somebody here? Hallelujah. Turn it to business. So do you go? And while you are doing that, you are creating a new beginning for what? For your life. You are creating a new beginning for your life. Many of you know how to place here. Watch out, but more the village. Any mom, any auntie, sister, mama, I share room here. One day, we go work at the auntie, sister, the whole day. Or did it two hours, twelve hours? One day, can't do much. Shaking it, come and deal. Our dinner time, one day, pass or more. Roll, 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 listen. Malia, but I saw the auntie, she pass share room here. The delivery is here. Why you blessed this morning? I'm blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can create your own new beginning. Yes, you can create it. You can create it. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to me. I have a particular bricklayer. Kinimokwe. Mo sope ton. Mo sope civil engineer. Kinimokorukwe. Bricklayer. Moni or Molekon. Yes, Ko vibe losi school Montreal is so yeah. Dami is not that educated. Mo mope. I want no man ban when your Thomas she training for. I didn't know that they also have apprentices. He's one of my customers. I just, I just met him. I said, ah, mini daddy kunle kunle loro kome. Mini ah, oh my ten days in law once. Oni ah, pastor, kolo sha fi on ni opolo ti o ma fi ri mari owo ni Nigeria. Abadura no koni e. Opolo ti o ma shekini. Ti o ma fi marobo. Iye ni po owa Nigeria ni e. Owa. Shiboni lo kini. Opolo la shekini la ti mo peto wa. Ah, adura pataki. Amen. Mo ane kilo shele. Only share my point. I want to see one one she share in Libra ni ni site. She go walk on one she share. We walk on she share day. One be one she get it. One long. Oh one stuff one job. We share he share to she he show my two edge. Only ah, sa kasha she go kasha she get kamasha da only. Lo so fun ba ba kule ba kule say okay show le kwa one edge. Ko she get it. Ko ma ko one. But she ma miss the le. But she ma miss the le. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, you, you know how to use phone here for Africa. She bumbo go balloon bono data. Oh, tell the loss of Instagram. Pony pay Lenny, more fair coin, more she low and draw. Lot of she lay, lot of she lay. I tell you, I want one more question. One more question. See, one of the blessings that God has given Nigeria is population. What did I say? You are not answering me. Can you imagine a, a ten uh, about five uh, five people? One song, one thousand for a lot of coins. Five thousand times five. Eh? Twenty-five times five. Abi times four. Hundred naira be. Oh, yeah. We are what cat be imagine here a day. In your team, my shirt on she. I'm not talking somebody here. Oh, low cross leg. Want yet? You are at pure water lane. Oh, loa. You do as yeah. I be no one here. Should that see what you shop me lane? It's because you have not decreased your what your own new beginning. Pure water. Ti wa onre ti awo yo kwa ra ye. Awo kwa ti subscribe follow the internet. Once you kini, once you belong si lewo. So you onko mag beg beg shop we kaja ni because awo kwa ti wa supply si lewo. Oh, mo kwe shetti shetti ni oti su. Okon shetti shetti ni oti su. I bet ti ribito ti supply boli. Shetti riri boli. Awo yo onti man fun boli. Wo ma fi bike wo ma shetti ni wo ma fi be fun wo. Let me see your hand. God bless you. What about Momoy? Glory Facebook. How are you shaking it? Oh, one way. Our pastor. I want to go to the street. I want to go to the In fact, I want to go to the street. 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 I want to go to the Hallelujah. And the pastor is in the street. I want to go to the street. Am I talking here? Okay. Let me now 
say the last one yeah, so that we can, we, can, we can go home relationship life yeah write it down that is number seven in your phone in your phone that is in your hand I want me to know what in the first 20 that you can call to give you 5,000 if that be an emergency in your life. In, in your first to 20 name in your phone. How many files you can call? Yeah. Kule, please quickly transfer 5,000 to my account. Titi, please quickly turn your five I want to quickly use it to do something. When I finish in about two days, I will return to you. How many of them in that particular five? So, but you see, go and delete those particular names. If there is no, tell the person beside, go and delete them. Yes, go and delete it. Do you know those one that, that if you don't delete, we, I call them sympathizer. One draw the job to must be ah, ever me a mommy mati law, daddy mati law, one by sense of a pair. You do a share blue on the cabin wood, I'm a bear right, it's a bear what dada. I'm not talking somebody here. Hallelujah. We call it strategic relationship. To your pay, see, Coco Bash and one pay, one big pay, is she come my daddy, only pay one be one million, only pay more than money be five hundred thousand or checking back, checking any five hundred to cook, so that coffee by say, Danny. So to back party at all, so at least what's all me pada. You run what I'm in a relationship with me. I'm not talking somebody here. Can you shout to my brand? Eh, eh, Joe, eh, oh. If Joe won't need you to my share, some more local now in area here. So, come on, come on, baby, like, I'm a part of life. I'm a lot of some more local. Come on, baby, she won't need you. Only busy. All of my share, only busy. I'm not talking somebody here. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody learning something this morning. And again. So, but you pay land and one to twenty years and what a man we have four cook basic look for you. I need that. The day I mean one era, the day I mean five there, delete or look on one. What did I say? Little one, more pain, no joy, no go to the enemy. Oh, she knew one in the phone to me. Hallelujah. Ah, more new one on the phone to me. I knew that all. I thought, hey, the road and what you know for me for what? For what? You know, when you are sentimental by a thing, your judgment will be wrong. Somebody hearing me here. When you are sentimental about it, your judgment what? will be wrong. We'll be wrong entirely. I'm not saying that you should go and hate people. I'm only trying to tell you, coffee and when you're too shaking, too shaking, coffee yara reka. Surround yourself with good people. Yes. People that can make your marriage to be strengthened. People that can strengthen your businesses. People that can strengthen your children. You called somebody and said, ah, my children had an admission at uh, Bowen University. Uh, what's of a prayer on what it was? Even in your in your, in your, in your, in your primary school, uh, why don't you go there? Oh, she said, Bowen, you're not going to go You're wrong with your bed. Can you go there? Eh, damn it, you see you. Aha, delete here. Delete here. I don't pay fiancé. I don't pay for it. Oh, what's the Ah, say, hey, sweetheart, listen. Ah, Canada is open for me. One in Canada on here, in Canada near. Can you go back there? It may at here. Nigeria that man make here. Can you money control this whole Delete here. Delete here. You are in Nigeria. You are in Nigeria, bro. Hallelujah. I'm not talking somebody here. It might be funny. Until when you come to that situation, you understand what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I know. We. How many of you know this particular Yoruba? How many come up as so many? How many of you know that Yoruba? I'm a servant, so I need to come and shake it. I'm a jekon, jekon, so many kogo. I'm a shake it. I'm a delete here. Yes, sir. I'm a delete here. Amen. And when you make a look be any tio one, or any Tonya or Tonya Kodo, I be a Rwaiba. How many people carry him? And you make look Mary, Mary. So I'm a share your giddy show magbe. One nigbe sir. One nigbe. One bit of the tea, one bit of the tea, one bit of the tea, one bit of the And they did it, isn't it? Because of what? Because of one man. May God surround you with such kind of people. Amen. I said, God surround you with just such kind of people. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to pray one prayer before you go home this morning. The prayer is this. Long give me a new vision. Yeah. 
if you don't have it you will not live where you are truly you had victories yesterday it cannot help you for today and it cannot be like that tomorrow oh give me new vision so dear dura pray ola for me ni ro to la roy for me ni ro to la roy give me new vision this morning for me ni ro to la roy give me new vision this morning for me ni ro to la roy new vision for me ni ro to la roy give me new vision bad roy for me ni ro to la roy pray 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 give me new vision this morning in jesus marvelous name we are praying amen fire all the women in the house say better amen, amen. men in the house say better amen. amen please listen to this i'm a shepherd by the grace of god in this particular commission by virtue of the grace of god i desire to be higher than this but listen to me you that are married if you have challenge against your wife and you have challenge against your husband please go and set to you today if truly you desire your house to have a new beginning husband listen to me you are not created as a man because you have to be stubborn no no and also women would not create you just to be a thorn in the flesh of the husband this I say is very very important husband bring your head back home and wife listen to that house so that you can protrude your husband to where he's supposed to be in life listen husband there are faces in marriage it is not by stubbornness and by the spirit of God you are raised if you want to do it by stubbornness your family will crumble and not to concern God about that not to concern God but I'm trying to encourage us that your home should stay and it's in the hand of the husband and the wife may that grace rest upon your home in Jesus name. Amen. I want you to take this particular communion this communion is a communion of irritants to be hunger and thirst for a new thing and make you to be dissatisfied with the whole thing why you take that communion begin to prophesy to your life Lord I create new thing in my health new thing in my finance and please do not speak it only when you are in the church when you get back home go and write them down and let it become more prayer every day by day the Lord will bless you in Jesus name Amen. please our pastor face the king and deaconess this leader is the church and thereafter the church member please can you set it forth God bless you take it swallow it it will cause you to be hunger and